Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and my fellow Blackhawks. It is with great esprit de corps that I will present to you a brief history of our beloved unit, a history steeped with the elemental components of virtue and honor. Hold close to your hearts the knowledge that our unit has served ever so honorably where and when we were called upon. Our unit history, beginning with the Illinois militia, originally under French command in the early 1700s, up to our gallant service in World War I, is forever with us. We carry this unit upon us. Our unit crest is comprised of our history during this time, a tumultuous period that included the discovery of new lands, world revolutions, and the birth of a mighty nation. Since its first formation, the Illinois militia has fought as mounted and dismounted infantry units. We have protected the wild frontier. As a French territory, we have fought and defeated English colonies and their mighty Colonel George Washington. Later, as a revolutionary force, we fought and defeated the English, helping to secure our sovereignty. To honor that heritage, the background of your battalion insignia is white, the color formerly representing infantry. In 1832, our fierce battles with the mighty Black Hawk the ground chieftain of the Sacs and Fox Indian tribes, forged our unit into a battle-hardened military machine. To acknowledge the epic struggle with a courageous and honorable chief, the Black Hawk, with crossed arrows, sits atop our crest. For our service as a leading invasion force and battles with Santa Ana and the Mexican mountain passes, the unit crest is addressed with the colors of the Mexican flag, a belt of red, white, and green. In 1861, when President Lincoln called for volunteers, Illinois furnished six regiments of militia. Illinois served with Ulysses S. Grant in Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, and gallantly fought in the Battle of Chattanooga. Then, under General Sherman, the fourth participated in the Battle of Atlanta and marched across Georgia. The blue diagonal cross on your battalion insignia commemorates the Civil War. Our battalion colors have 13 streamers from the Civil War, each representing a major campaign. The 4th Illinois was called to arms once again in May of 1898, serving as the Army of Occupation in the Spanish-American War. In 1917, the 4th was reorganized as the 130th Infantry, mobilized and sent to Europe. In 1918, the regiment served first under the British 18th Division and later as part of the 33rd Division in northern France. For World War I service, the regiment received streamers for the Simon Offensive, Meuse Argon, Lorraine, and Picardy campaigns. The Fure de Lys on your battalion insignia represents our participation in World War I. In June 1943, the regiment again, part of the 33rd Division, was sent to the Pacific Theater, engaging in a series of battles against an elusive foe that carried the 130th from Otori Island onto Luzon. This was a campaign of amazing victories and terrible human losses. Our unit alone earned two medals of honor, 18 distinguished service crosses, 138 silver stars, 243 bronze stars, and 785 purple hearts. Companies Charlie and Kilo received the presidential unit citation for outstanding performance of duty in an armed conflict with the enemy. On February 15, 1952, the regiment was again called to active duty, serving in Korea as attachments and unit reserves. After a too-long period of rest, in 1993, the battalion was called to duty to help combat the raging floods along the Mississippi River. On October 1st of 1998, a reorganization of the units left the 2nd Battalion as the last of the 13 original battalions of the 130th Regiment. In August of 2000, the 130 was called once again into federal services, and soldiers from Alpha Company served in Kuwait for Operation Desert Spring. After the despicable acts of 9-11, our battalion was again called to defend the virtues of this great nation. And in December 2001, soldiers from two of the 130 and selected companies were sent to the European theater as part of Task Force Santa Fe, serving both in Germany and Italy in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. In January 2005, two of the 130 infantry was deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. After arriving in Kuwait, the battalion made the trip up to Baghdad and took over the Abu Ghraib market area, successfully securing the sector and proving once again that the Black Hawks are still a legitimate fighting force. Most recently, our unit has participated in OEF, showing our strength in smaller embedded training teams similar to the role carried out by Special Forces units. The two of the 130 had once again delivered success through exceptional service when called upon. 
Serving in every sector of the Afghan battlefield, soldiers of the 2 of the 130 mentored Afghan police, military, local leaders, and fought fiercely with an enemy trying to deny a people their freedom. We have returned, we have reassumed our conventional structure, and we stand ready for the next call to arms. Be it for disaster relief, civil defense, or outright war, we, the proud, the 2 of the 130, the Blackhawks have been, are now, and will forever be always ready.